everybody welcome back and welcome to a super exciting video today i am filming my room tour hey before we get into it i quickly want to mention that i am filming with the window open which is something that i never normally do because as you're going to tell throughout this video it's quite loud out there but it's also 25 degrees out there today and i am melting so it's staying open so I have lived in this room since about October time last year and it hit me a few months ago that I've never actually filmed a room tour video which is kind of mind blowing because they're my favourite vid videos <laughs> They're my favourite videos to watch They are some of my favourite videos to film and I just love documenting my little spaces I like decorating and stuff and yeah I'm super excited to film this video today But plot twist, as I'm filming this video I am moving out this afternoon so yeah, <laughs> I've started packing away some little bits here and there, like all of my clothes are now out of this room. So it's a little bit different to what it is normally like, but I actually tried to film this video like a month ago. I didn't like it so I never uploaded it, but I did get quite a few good like cutaway shots from it. So I'm going to obviously show you what the room is like now, but I'm going to overlay some cutaway clips of what it was like a month ago. So that's kind of what it's been like in its normal like living condition. Like not much has changed other than obviously I've got a few bare shelves. But yeah, and I also thought since I'm moving out today, I could also film little clips of it here and there once it is empty because that's something that you don't often get to see and honestly it is amazing how much you can like change up student accommodation and one last thing before we do get into this video I am going to leave my um, room tour from first year down below in the description box as well because I stayed in the same student accommodation it is Causeway View in Aberdeen um, so I had like the exact same room it was just flipped it was like a mirror image of this room and I feel like they look so different like the way that I've decorated this year to the way that I decorated in first year are really different and it just goes to show how much you can customize your small little space and I thought that'd be pretty cool for you guys to see so without any more rambling I feel like I've already spoken for Scotland in this introduction but let's just get into the room tour Okay, so this is kind of like the entryway to my room. So this is the big old fire door that you come in through. And as you can see, I'm swamped by jackets. There's no getting around it. That's the one thing that you're always gonna need to have lying about in a room of this size. There's just jackets poking out everywhere. So on this side, I just have all my jackets on like two wall hooks that actually came with the flat. They're just like, you know, the little two pronged things. And then on this side, I'm actually hanging up all my stuff on over door hangers. And this door goes into the bathroom. And as you can see, again, making use of the over door hangers here. Honestly, that is just the one thing that you need to remember to bring when you move into student accommodation. So the bathroom is just in here and next to it is the wardrobes they just you know open it like normal wardrobes it's a fun time so there never really is an easy way to show off a bathroom especially when it's like a student accommodation bathroom because they are notoriously small but you know it's fine so straight ahead is my sink um, to the left is the shower and then the toilet is on the right now I feel like this is something that I'll be able to show you a lot better in cutaways because obviously it's a small little space but yeah <laughs> And as I mentioned, moving down from the bathroom, we then have the wardrobe. So as I mentioned earlier, the wardrobe is now super empty. Um, I moved all of my stuff out yesterday, but I get, it gives you a better idea of what the wardrobe actually looks like. So there's the two reverse rails, one at the bottom and one at the top, which are difficult to manoeuvre, but they definitely save space. There's then also the little boxes down the side and the bigger box at the top and the bottom which I just use for things that can be folded like t-shirts and shorts and blah 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 blah. From the cutaway you'll be able to see what it's like when it's full of clothes and let me tell you my wardrobe was full of clothes. And now it's just filled with bags I can use for moving stuff. Oh so sad. So moving into the body of the kirk, you can definitely see the layout of the room a lot better. So you can see now how the bathroom and the wardrobes kind of create a little hallway into the main section of the room and then everything is kind of round to your left. So we'll go to the left, shall we? 
This is my favourite bit. This is where the fun stuff comes in. So the main part of every bedroom has to be the bed and let me tell you I have loved my bed here. It is a three quarter size bed which is something that you don't often get in student accommodation halls. Um, they normally stick to single beds to save space but that extra little bit of room does wonders. As for the bedding and just how I've decorated this space it is very different to last year. In first year it was very grey, white, monochrome, geometric shapes going on whereas this year I definitely have preferred the greens and yellows and more earthy tones and I feel like it makes it more cosy. And above my bed this year I actually have a little scratch map which I love. Um, I got this for my Christmas, I've been wanting one for ages and I think it really just adds something to all the grey that's going on around my bed. Last year I had um, string fairy lights running up and down behind my bed which looked beautiful but when I moved back into this room I honestly couldn't be bothered doing it again. It took so long and it kept getting ripped down so the poster is definitely a faster, easier option. So above the bed is probably one of the most customisable spaces in this room. Last year I used them all just for little trinkets and bits and bobs and it really made every room feel different. This year however I seem to have accumulated a lot more clothes so I actually had to resign three of the cubes for storage of like my jeans and jumpers and things. But yeah I've just used this space for just showing off some of the things I love. I've obviously got some uni books, I've got my scrapbooks, some pictures of me and my mom and my friends, you know, just all that cute stuff. So now moving on to the other side of the room, this might be pretty hard to show because of the light that's coming in through the window right now, but basically the width of the room is taken up by this desk and there's a lot going on here. I have a lot of stuff, I know, and I need to move all of this out in the next few hours. <laughs> so obviously the main thing that you can probably see right now is these Alex drawers. Um, I got these last year when I moved into halls because I just wanted some extra storage and they have come in so, so handy. And this year I actually decided to pop them up on my desk just so that I could have a bit more floor space because you are kind of limited with your floor space and I thought it would just kind of make everything a bit more open. It was an absolute mission to get them up there might I add and I'm not looking forward to bringing them down but it definitely does the trick and I just use it to store like underwear, pyjamas, makeup, all of that fun stuff. And I also just popped a little poster on it because I thought it looked cute so yeah. My home, my jungle, ah! So inspirational. And down next to the Alex drawers there's also this other little shelf and basically again I've just used this to display some little trinkets and cute things and you know all the stuff that I really don't need to have in my room but I want to. Um, it's just cute. And below there there are these two drawers that are built into the room. I use these just to store like bed sheets, towels, anything like that. And the top one is also my everything drawer that just has like medicine and hair straighteners and you know, all of that stuff that doesn't really have a home. And from here you might also be able to see just down here there's a few little shelves below the desk and I found out last year that a washing basket fits pretty perfectly under there and it saves a lot of space. So down here I've just got my washing basket, some filming equipment, some spare tea towels for the kitchen and you know, just some boring stuff that isn't that pretty to look at. On top of the desk at this side I just have some makeup palettes that don't fit in my Alex drawers because you know they're full to the brim and next to them I have my little painted snail which is the cutest thing in the world. There's a vlog if you want to watch it. I went pottery painting at a kid's place. And in addition to that I also just have an Ikea desk lamp which is a great addition to every university room and I then have a little vase of flowers that I got given because yesterday was actually my last day of placement which means I am now on my summer holidays which is so much fun and I also have some quality street that I got from my class and a bottle of port which I've not actually drank for a few months because your gal's social life has gone dramatically downhill. And I have some earphones just chilling in the middle of my desk. Um, I kind of forgot to put them away but I filmed it now so yeah. Cute, relatable, just living life. So the underside of my desk is you know pretty boring but I just wanted to show you this a little bit I guess to let you know that the chair comes with the room and the bin comes with the room. So those are two things that you don't need to worry about. Also 
It's green. I couldn't have asked for a better colour chair. It's beautiful. So on the other side of the desk is where this gets a little bit hectic. Basically I have some stationery, some work stuff, some uni stuff, some placement stuff, some makeup brushes, some perfume, just all of the stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. So I've tried to make this bit as, you know, organised as I can, but it's just never going to fully look that great. So yeah, this is going to also be a mission to tidy away later. I don't even know why I have half this stuff, I don't really use it all, but it's fine. We've got some Sharpies that I love. I also just have this little mirror here which is from Tiger and I obviously use it to do my makeup in the morning which is really good here. The desk is right in front of the window so you're getting so much natural light when you're doing your makeup. It is the dream. So moving up from here we have a little pin board section which I love. As you can probably tell I'm an extreme trinket hoarder. I love anything cute and memory related so I love my little pin board here. I just have some little pictures, some badges and yeah a calendar which is still on March. Jesus, come on Holly. This just pretty much explains my life right now. Like honestly I still think we're in March and we're just not anymore. Also, fresher of the year. My biggest achievement since coming to uni. Moving around from the pin board, oh well hey! So this room actually came with a full length mirror which is something that quite a lot of student halls do not have and something that I love. And just below the mirror is where I keep all of my shoes. I just have them lined up because it's so much easier than trying to put them somewhere and take up space that could be used for something else. Hey hey, student living. And then lastly, as you turn a little bit more, boom, Holly Dolly HQ, filming setup, cuteness. So I bought this tapestry from Amazon because, to be honest, I wasn't loving my filming setup when I moved back in here. It just felt very grey and bland. So I picked this up purely for filming, but I feel like it actually adds quite a lot to the room. It makes it feel a lot more homey and cosy. And below there I just have my little plant that is most definitely dead. I've just kept him there to be in this video and now the time has come he's gonna hit the bin. And then I just have my guitar and my ukulele. They just chill there, sitting there looking cute. They get played about once every two months and to be honest they just add to the overall orange, brown, yellow, green theme that I have going on in my room right now. So yeah, that's fun. And that's it. That's pretty much it for my room tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my little space where I've been living for the last few months. As much as it sucked that I had to come back into student accommodation, I couldn't have asked for a better place to stay. Like honestly, it has everything that I need. And as you can see, I've definitely made it my own. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my room, seeing what it was like in all of its glory and seeing what it's like empty. It's honestly amazing what you can do with such a blank canvas. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below so that we can have a chat and I will see you again very soon with a new video. Bye! Mwah.